What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdo, it's TCG here, and welcome to another TCG Online match. First of all, I have a booster since I uh, actually played the Trader Challenge some more, and I got a booster. Uh, this time it's a Boundaries Cross booster, so let's open that one up first, and uh, let's see what we get. Alright, we got an Ace Pack card, so it was a great pack. After all, we have uh, the Black Urim EX's attack gets raised to 300 HP with this Ace Pack card, so maybe we should test this uh, out, actually. Alright, now let's check out the deck list first. It's, uh, I made a Dragonite EX deck uh, with Verizion. I finally been, or have been able to make this deck since uh, I was uh, looking for the Verizions and now I have some. So I have four Verizion, which is our main starter in this deck because it's so good uh, to power up our Dragonite or other Pokemon on the bench. And uh, we can use the combination with the ability of Dragonite busting in to use like Super Scoop Up and stuff like that to have our combo going and going. Also, I really like Muna in this deck. I'm beginning to love it more and more in combination with Viridian's ability's attack. Uh, ability, actually, we cannot get a sleep and only our opponent gets a sleep and that's really great. Also, we have a Mr. Mime in here to block the damage if we're on the bench and almost knocked out. Mr. Mime blocks the damage and our opponent has a harder time to knock us out. Then we have the Bear Tech and uh, yeah, also the Mr. Mime uh, blocks the sniping damage from certain Pokemon. Then next we have Bear Tech because we are mostly weak to fire with our Verizion, so we want to have something to cover that. So we have Bear Tech also is great against Pyro. It's a fire Pokemon, Charizard are the fire Pokemon, so we have Bear Tech to knock those out. And with an evolutionary deck, we are not uh, yeah uh, hindered by uh, the uh, Pyroars out there. So uh, now to the trainers, we have energy retrieval, getting our lightning energies back mostly on uh, grass energy. So escape rope is great since we do bust in. One hit toxic laser, a professor's letter. Scoop up cyclone is the ace pack card this time around since it's great. It's just like super scoop up but without the coin flip. We want to test that out. It looks like actually a scouter for some reason. Um, here we have a uh, Starlink Megaphone, 4 Super Scoop Up, 1 Switch, 4 Ultra Ball, searching our Dragonite and the cards we want. Then Chorus, 1 uh, Lysander, uh, 4 and 4 Professor Sycamore, just the same like Juniper for those of you that are new. Then we have 1 Shauna, 3 Skyla, 2 Heart Charm to have our Dragonite some more defensive power and 2 Muscle Bands if we really want to go for the offensive weight. Then we have 1 Plasma Energy, it's great for our Genesect if we attach it to our Genesect we have the sniping capability, I run only one of those. And then we have 7 Grass Energies and 4 Lightning Energies. The Lightning Energies are mostly for the Dragonites of course because uh, he wants to attack with his attack. Uh, I don't know what it's called but it deals uh, uh, 120 damage if you decide to uh, yeah, do, do something special. Uh, let's see. Uh, now we're gonna just use a random battle. You're gonna see Dragonite EX in action. So we're gonna use standard. I already have, have a bunch of decks. So this time around is Genesec Verizion. And uh, yeah, we are just gonna click on play now and see what opponent is waiting for us on the other side of the world. Since this online program is just as great like that. Also the thing you should know is that the, the trading card game online is, a, is an app now in the Canadian app store. So you should check that out. So we're facing a, a Water, Lightning and Psychic deck. And I can choose, we're gonna use the Chespin coin and I'm just gonna say hats. And I cannot start the game, which is not great since uh, if we have Verizia, we want to usually start since we have then a second turn or uh, Emerald Slash. So we're facing... I know what we're facing. We're facing like... It's a Blastoise deck, of course, and I have the Mew to start. Could be worse. I'm gonna draw an extra card. Oh, it's the Verizion. Damn it. Oh well. So we're facing Pikachu. Uh, the Raichu is actually quite good. If my bench is filled up completely, it could be devastating. Also, I don't have a supporter in uh, this turn already. So, uh, and also no energies as well. He has a Muscle Bat to his Pikachu. He has the Attack and Nozzle to paralyze my, my Pokemon. And it's my turn. So, if we have a DCE and a Muscle Band, we can knock it out, but that's not the case. Ultra Ball can be the case. We can use Super Scoop Up. We're just gonna use Super Scoop Up in this situation. And it works, we're gonna get back our Mewtwo. And just put Verizion out there. Also with Ultra Ball, we are going to search out a Dragonite. Or could we get something else, who knows. We have Genesect, we have Muna. Muna. We can test out the Muna combination. Since we are just gonna go for Dragonite. Why not? It's this Pokemon I wanted to test out, so we are gonna get the Muscle Band to Verizion, and that'll be it. I don't have any energies, that's really, really terrible, actually. But my opponent also doesn't have any energy, so we're safe at that. 
So he uses Evo Soda, getting out Raichu straight from the bat. Now Raichu isn't going to deal a lot of damage, it's only for the uh, the total amount of bench Pokemon. Or well, actually, his bench, bench Pokemon, and he doesn't seem to have any bench Pokemon. So he's only going to be able to deal 40 damage. Actually, he's using N, great for me, because I don't have anything that spectacular. I again get Mewtwo, but we have a Lightning Energy. And, um, yeah, the Raichu doesn't deal any damage since he doesn't have any bench Pokemon, so... Actually, I don't want to waste my Lightning Energy on the Verizia. So... I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna actually attach the Plasma Energy. I know it's terrible, but we have to do it because we want to have the Emerald Slash out as soon as possible. So, uh, my opponent doesn't seem to have anything that spectacular. We're gonna also bench Mewtwo EX here. And... Then we're gonna use an N. There we go. And we have the Starling Megaphone to power down our opponent. There we go. And next turn we have a Grass Energy to power up stuff. So, we could be worse off here. Also, Dragonite the Axe is someone you want to bench out of nowhere. Because that way you see the power more, but I wanted to build it up straight from the bat with uh, Emerald Slash and so we don't want to Genesect out just yet. Starling Megaphone gets rid of our Muscle Band, that doesn't seem to be any problem since we only deal 70 damage with the Muscle Band and that's not enough to knock out this Raichu. He uses an end, so this is an end battle, also he's playing a Curum for some reason, so we have the Mr. Mime blocking the damage on the bench. So he's now dealing 40 damage, since he has two bench Pokemon. And uh, we can use Colorus here for four Pokemon. Also, we have the Energy Retrieval. Since yeah, we we haven't actually done anything that great. He's uh, promoting his uh, Zekrom here in this situation. Hypnotoxic Laser. Oh wow! I am not asleep though. But if we attach a Grass Energy, we can be uh, poisoned anyway. So we're only going to get uh, like. 10 damage from the poison and then 20 damage from the outrage. So we have the grass energy, great. We heal off our poison damage. Besides that, we are also. Does he have sniping capabilities? Capabilities? I don't think so, but he only has four cards in his hand. We are going to bench the Mr. Mine. Going to use. We already have the energy attachment, so we don't want to have anything more. So we are gonna Lysander out that Curum, since he has a high retreat cost. And we can use some Emerald Slashes here. So we're gonna use 50 damage, and we're gonna get two Grass Energies. And we're gonna attach them to Dragonite EX. Dragonite EX is almost powered up now, so we can use it later. And my opponent is actually struggling, since the Curum has three retreat costs. So he's attaching the water energy, he doesn't seem to have the Blastoise out, so it's kind of a rogue deck for him as well. So, we have this scoop up Cyclone, which is great. Um, we can also use another Emerald Slash here. Ultra Ball, we're actually gonna use a Colrus here, we can use the Ultra Ball later. There we go, and we get out a Heart Charm for our Dragonite. We don't seem to have a lightning energy, so we're just going to use another emerald slash here. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. 50 damage, 2 grass energies, and we are gonna attach them to Mewtwo EX this time around. So, my Pokemon are getting built up while uh, Verizion deals some uh, sweet amount of damage. Actually, the thing you should know is that we actually deal... Um, the, the search for Verizion EX is like really hard. And also he's uh, having that uh, the Suicune. He doesn't know that I play Bear Tech yet, which is great. I will just have him in suspense. We have some Ultra Balls left, so he's building up a Suicune, hoping that, oh, he doesn't play any uh, other Pokemon besides EXs. So we're gonna actually prove him wrong using the Skyla. Actually, we're gonna check out all, all our cards. We have the Kupchu. Great, 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 great. Another Dragonite. Don't seem to have any Lightning Energy at the moment. But we can actually use Skyla for... Professor Stickermore could be great. But actually the thing we are gonna do is actually instead of getting out something, we're gonna use Ultra Ball here. And with that, we're gonna use... We can use the Switch. We're actually gonna dispose of Switch 
since uh, we do have the bust in capabilities with Dragonite. So we're gonna get out of Cup 2 here, preparing ourselves for the Suicune, and building up uh, our Cup 2 with Verizion. But it seems like there are there isn't any energies left in our deck. Actually, uh, uh, grass energies that is. So, once Verizion is knocked out, which could be the case later on, but actually we have resistance to water, so <laughs> he's actually having a hard time. So he also has the Caldeo EX to promote him, that way his Curum EX is safe. But he doesn't do that, he wants him to be dead. We do have the Lightning Energy, which we can attach to Dragonite EX to actually deal some like, decent amount of damage, but we have to be careful here because we are facing a Suicune later on, so... We are just going to attach it to the Cup 2. I know it's uh, not that great, but we have to have some energies to dispose of this weak one. So we are going to use the Emerald Slash here, 50 damage, and that'll be it. But we get two prize cards, hopefully we can get an energy, Cup 2, and an energy, so that way our Cup 2 will evolve to Beartech and be able to dispose of that weak one. That's way the, the only reason that we're also running in Stage 1 in this deck as well. So. He's using Raichu, dealing 20 to 40, 60, 60 damage. Also Floatstone is on the uh, Caldeo EX. And he promotes Caldeo EX like that. And now he has the Floatstone, he can promote something else like Zekrom. I see. So 20 damage again with the Zekrom. And we have a Shauna, we can evolve to Bear Tech. We can use a super scoop up here. Mewtwo EX deals, doesn't deal that uh, a lot of damage. Dragonite only deals 120 damage. As you see, you may discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. Then you deal 120 damage, but... Huh. Quite difficult. If we deal 50 damage, this Zekrom deals 70 damage. And 70 damage is not enough to knock out our Frisian. We are just gonna build up the bear tech here. The reason for that actually is that we have to dispose of that Suicune later on. Also we can use the super scoop up here and go for the more aggressive route. But we're not gonna do that, we're gonna, sacrificial, uh, we're gonna sacrifice that Verizion. Now we're gonna use Shauna, hopefully we can get something great. Oh, all supporters, look at that ladies and gentlemen, great. Now we're just going to use, we can retreat and actually deal more damage, but the more damage we deal, the more uh, that Zagrom will do some crazy stuff. So, let's see what my opponent decides to do. He actually has some decent cards, Zagrom, Raichu, Suicune, that Kirin was really terrible, so I shouldn't suggest running that one. And he also doesn't seem to get out Blastoise. So it's actually, and random battles is actually quite hard to show the power of the deck, but you actually see Dragonite doesn't deal a lot of damage. Frisian is still a really, really great card. Uh, we can use actually the Dragonite. We only have, we save one bench slot, maybe for Muna, and uh, actually our Frisian is almost knocked out. So we have a Frisian that's not great. We're not gonna use, and we're gonna use Colorus here for a swooping seven cards. We have the Muna and we have the Lightning Energy. So. We can actually go for Dragonite. That's what we can do. Or we can go for this Bear Tech, but we're gonna save him for later. So we're gonna go for Dragonite, giving him some time to shine. Retreating as well. We're gonna actually discard this Grass Energy since we can get it back later with Energy Retrieval. And Dragonite gets to see some action with a hard charm actually we're, we can also bench a Muna but we want to have another Dragonite busting in for that the Muna is great as if you can uh, one shot a Pokemon and we have Ultra Ball to search out uh, our other Dragonite so Jet Sonic and are we going to discard a card we are not gonna do that since we don't uh, we deal enough damage as it is 80 damage will dispose of the Zekrom there we go we get another prize card and it's an energy which is great so, it's my opponent's turn and the Suicune is actually bothering me quite a bit. Since we cannot attack e this, uh, this Suicune because he has Safeguard. The thing we want to do is use Skyla for Super Scoop Up or actually sco Scoop Up Cyclone. So, 70 damage. The thing we are gonna do actually is, as, as I mentioned, 
is getting our scoop up cyclone. There we go. Um, let's see what this 20 plus 20, 20. So we deal 60 damage. But we're not gonna waste of the energy, so we are gonna actually use Ultra Ball destroying the Professor's Letter as well as the Heart Charm. I don't think so. We are actually gonna, yeah, we don't need N anymore since we are in a terrible position to use N, so we're gonna use Ultra Ball here and searching out our other Dragonite. Let's see here. Um, Dragonite we can use later, but. I don't think this is actually we're gonna actually have uh, get rid of all our energies that way, but it doesn't really matter. So we are actually getting everything back. I'm promoting Bear Tech here. We're gonna actually place Muna as well, and um, we are not gonna bust in. No, we are not gonna bust in this time. We're gonna get attached the Lightning Energy, attach a Heart Charm, and actually I placed the Muna down. Just because I wanted to put my opponent to sleep. And uh, no, that Muna shouldn't be here actually because uh, we didn't have a grass energy attached to our bear tech, So, But it doesn't really matter. We deal 60 damage regardless. And uh, my opponent will actually have to retreat. Otherwise, yeah, he will only be able to deal 90 damage, which is not enough to knock out. Oh my god, he's using Hypnotoxic Laser. We are asleep as well. However, we can cover that with Verizian's ability, just attaching an energy to the bear tech, a grass energy. I know it's terrible like that, but wow, he plays out his hand correctly and has a Juniper out. So, uh, what else do we see? We have the Keldeo, we can actually retreat if he wants to and save that Suicune for later on and uh, let me be asleep and poison and stuff like that. So, he also gets a Squirtle out, so this uh, battle is not done. He also has the um, Keldeo. Oh, and the Fairbank City Gem combo. Wow. That's something I didn't expect. However, we do have a 2 2 line of Bertek, so. He also has the Mew out. He deals 90 damage, and then I stay asleep, which is not that bad. We just attach our Grass Energy, and we are not asleep anymore. That way we can uh, show off the power of Muna, but we're not gonna do that since it's not necessary. We're gonna also. We can use. Scott Sycamore in this situation, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stick onto our resources and just use Eagle Hold for the knockout. So, Suicune was quite of a tough opponent to face since we do run at, uh, most EXs. We actually had a ton of EXs that way. Suicune is our worst enemy, but we have Bear Techs to deal with that. So now Raichu takes over. And we had to actually attach the grass energy, otherwise we couldn't attack. So he's using... Wow, he's playing Zapdos. Isn't that uh, epic? <laughs> Maybe we, we can test it out later. It's actually the reprint from Next Destinies. Oh wow, he ends me to two cards. He thinks like, oh, I got this match in the back. But I have two Sycamores, not one, two. Yeah. So he's getting out of Water Toll, so things are not done yet. He can actually deal... He can knock, my, knock out my Bear Tech. Really simple like that. We can't attack with Dragonite just yet, so it's it'll have to be... Actually, we can attack if we get another Dragonite out, which we can test it out. So if we can get out our other Dragonite, we can bust in and knock it out. So the opponent will actually do the circle, uh, circuit for 20, 40, 60 damage, knocking out our Bear Tech. A lot of resources, actually a lot of energies are going to discard pal. The thing we can do here is go for Mewtwo first. See if we can get an energy or a Dragonite. Or we can just get a Dragonite. Let's just bust in ladies and gentlemen. We can get this energy, this energy and this energy and bust in like that. That's the main strategy of Dragonite. Out of nowhere we can still knock it out. So now a Sycamore. There we go. Also, we could use Muna in this situation, as you see. The opponent is asleep. We, we don't really need it, but I wanted to show, you, show it regardless. So we can attach Lightning Energy to this Dragonite. We have the Energy Retrieval, getting back a Grass Energy. And... A Lightning Energy. There we go. Uh, the, the Lightning Energy is just because... Uh, I wanted to power up something else. We could get another Grass Energy, but since there are some prizes left, hopefully we can get one. We can use Super Scoop up, but we don't need it. So 
we're just gonna use Jet Sonic and uh, get rid of our uh, lightning energy because we got one uh, with the um, yeah the energy retrieval and gonna attach it later on. So Dragonite busting in, getting ourselves a knockout. So as I said, here we get the energy anyway, the grass energy. You have to also always keep count of your energies. So it's my opponent's move. He's actually almost uh, destroyed by this Dragonite deck. But he actually did his best. He, he used some sweet abilities like we had, he had the Suicune battle, then we had against the Raichu. Let's see, he has the Floatstone, but we can use Muna regardless. So He also has Super Scoop Up to bust in once again if we have a ton of damage. So my opponent is still decided. Wow, he Lysander something out. It's the Mr. Mime. Wow. He's actually gonna stall, but we have two super scoop ups, so it's possible to get him out of the active position. Or he's just gonna knock it out. Wow. That is also something he could could have done. We can deal 100 damage with Verizion, but we're just gonna promote this Dragonite since it's a Dragonite match. Wow, three Verizions in my hand. The reason we're running for is actually to have it time after time. Now we're just gonna use the uh, the Jet Sonic and we're gonna discard the Grass Energy this time around. There we go. The reason we only run one switch is uh, with Super Scoop Up. If he catches out something, the chance is actually quite high. So 50-50 and then again 50-50 so we have, yeah, <laughs> a better uh, chance of uh, getting our Pokemon back into our hand and just promoting someone else. So he, I think he has to use Floatstone here, otherwise he'll be knocked out. So Mewtwo, uh, this Mew has to attack. And he uses Shauna, let's see what he gets. I really like the Zandos, really sweet card. So he has the Blasters out, he can attach. Oh no, it's another Suicune. No, 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 no. Energy Retrieval. <clears throat> However, Oh no, he's gonna attach all the energy to a Suicune, right? If he plays correctly like that. So this match is not done. And we have to get out another Bear Tech. Really fast. I saw that there's another Cup 2 in my deck. Hopefully this is not Bear Tech or otherwise we're screwed. Oh no. This doesn't look that great. The opponent can almost attack. Damn it. This is just not great. We're not gonna attach to the, 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 the regular Dragonite, we're just gonna attach it to this one. Oh no, we're actually quite stuck, but we're gonna use a long distance Hypno to stall him down. So he's asleep. We can use N here because otherwise we only get one card. And he wakes up, so that's not great. Suicune actually blocks our entire deck. We should have gotten out two cup uh, uh before. We did run four Ultra Balls, so we should have gotten it out in this situation. I didn't thought that he was running two Suicunes. So he's using Colrus for swooping, I don't know, a ton of cards. I only have 10 cards left in my deck, and he has... Uh, he has 12 cards left in his deck, so it's actually quite a suspensive match. He's done, going to deal 70 damage with a Crushing Hammer. Which fails, so he, he's running quite a, a, a random deck. Cure him in the bench as well. We do need Lysander this time around. Or... Yeah, we need Lysander. Really. But we used already one. And the escape rope is also discarded, so... Wow, we do. We have to get out Bear Tech in this situation. 70 damage on the Dragonite. No problem. I don't care. I'm gonna build up this one. And now we're just gonna use the long distance again. And he is not asleep. So that's it. <laughs> this is, match is going crazy. I got I should have gotten this match in the bank, but in the back, but. If he has a Hypnotoxic Laser, he can actually only 140. He can, he still can knock me out, so I'm safe on that part, and I'm actually can be uh, poisoned since Brizion is still out. 
The thing he doesn't know yet is that I do run Super Scoop up. So the only thing we have to do is get that Mew EX to be knocked out or that Caldeo is also knocked out. So if we promote Skurum, could be great. We can then uh, attack that one instead. But then he has to retreat his uh, Suicune and uh, loses two energies with that. So I think he's just gonna stall with this Suicune. This is again a long battle video showing you that random decks actually quite work. My Dragonite Dex bust in out of nowhere but I didn't seem to finish it off so I'm almost knocked out in this situation. I have Sycamore but I only have 8 cards left. This is terrible. I I'll be decked out with that. So the thing we want to do is use uh, the Super Scoop Up. It doesn't work. Fine. Another Super Scoop Up. It doesn't work either. Wow. This is not great. Really. What will we do? Who can attach an energy to Dragonite and then retreat but meh. I don't think that's the great decision. We're gonna just attach to the Mewtwo. No, we're gonna save the energy for our bear tech. Hmm. Are we gonna let our Dragonite die? That's the question. We're just gonna use Muna. He is asleep, so maybe we have a chance. And still, I only need to pick one prize card. And he wakes up. Wow, he still has a bit of luck on his side. So as you can see, you see how things can go wrong at the very last thing. So Suicune, a great card all around. We don't seem to get our uh, our bear tech out of our deck. We can use Sycamore, but we only have 8 cards. So maybe we should use N. Maybe. After he knocks out our dragon out, we can use N. But he's actually going to be decked out soon. Another Suicune. Wow. His deck is based around Suicune, because everyone is running EXs nowadays. So our Dragonite is knocked out. We're also, if he catches out our Verizion, we are knocked out. So, I don't really mind, but that's the only thing I could have done. Because we do need to that energy to discard, or actually give it to our Cup Chew. Skyla here, we're gonna search out what we still have left. We have the Muscle Band. We have the Genesect, we have the Beartech and the Kupchu, both Beartech and Kupchu in here is in here, in combination with the Grass Energy. We need that Beartech, right now. Definitely. Also we shouldn't have attached that Plasma Energy to that uh, Parisian at the beginning of the game. So that'll be it. Lucky for us. This um, Dragonite has a Heart Charm attached to it, that way uh, his attack only deals 50 damage, which means he'll have to attack 4 times, and he has only 3 cards left in his deck, so I think we can win that way, if he doesn't promote this Curum, he can retreat and actually deal a ton of damage actually, 120, 120, so if he attacks, attacks once, He's still not going to be able to knock me out, but this Mew actually can deal 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 damage as well. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 damage as well. So, wow, quite a suspensive game. Let's see how it finished. You guys are actually waiting in suspense, alright. He promotes his uh, Keldeo, he's gonna retreat to the Curum. And will deal 100 damage, right? And with the... Yeah, wow. We have Genesect! Wow, that's the one card we didn't need at all. Let's first use the hit long distance Hypno. And he is not asleep. Terrific. Next turn will be knocked out, so this deck will actually win. 100 damage, Dragonite is knocked out. 
it's time for someone else to shine. Parisian, 50 damage is not enough. We have resistance to water. Maybe we can test that out. We are going to retreat this Dragonite for the Verizion. And that'll be it. <laughs> yeah, I know it's quite weird. I want to stall so much. Yeah, I only have three turns left. So he's going to use probably the ability of Caldeo, retreating it, and then use Hail Blizzard once more. I think. We'll see how it turns out. Wow, it's actually the most exciting game I had so long. Actually, it's we don't know who's going to win. If he knocks out an EX, he wins. If I stall enough, I win. It's the, actually the only thing I can do at this point because the cards in my deck like Beartech and Cupchu are the only ones that can save me from this situation, but looks like they... Oh! Looks like there's an inactive opponent. As I suspected, he uses the uh, Russian ability from Caldeo. He's gonna switch around for someone else, and he's actually gonna go for the Suicune. Suicune will only deal 50 damage, though. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We have the Bear Tick! Wow, that's the, the one card we didn't need. We needed Gupchu. I have four cards, he has two cards. So, what else do we have left? We can not be paralyzed. We can use Muna here, putting in a sleep. And still, it's not a sleep. It could have saved our, the game. So, we have 50 HP remaining. He deals 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 damage with Mew. 100 damage with the uh, uh, 100 damage with the Kiram. So, the thing we can do is. Bench another Verizion. Retreating that Verizion. And ending our turn. <laughs> we are just stalling like crazy. He has two turns left, so what is it? what is he gonna do? Hmm. This is actually the longest game ever. Officially. I have never had like a long battle like this one. It's quite the suspense. Knowing that he only has one card left in his deck. So that it means he can attack now, attack another turn, and then he's uh, actually he loses because he decked out. I have four cards left in my deck together with an end so we can build up our Pokemon uh, our deck once again with more cards and he's using the Russian ability in combination with Kyurem. Kyurem will be able to deal 100 damage. There we go. We don't get an energy but we can actually put our opponent to sleep we're gonna do that later the thing we want to do here is actually we can use N here but then he gets he suffers back in cards and then he has four and then he has more cards so we can use Juniper but then we are in the worst situation ever the thing we can only do is hope that my opponent stays asleep with the long distance hypno there we go oh no we lost we lost, ladies and gentlemen. The thing we can do is use N here. Why not? Still not giving up? We need an energy. No! That'll be it for the game. I'm gonna say GG. And actually, I can't say anything because he muted the chat. So that'll be it for this battle video. I am asleep, so it doesn't turn out that well with the Dragonite deck. But it shows actually that everything is possible in the TCG online match. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, I definitely appreciate it and I'll be seeing you guys in the next TCG online match. Don't forget guys that every Wednesday there's a competitive TCG episode, a deck review and actually I think I'm gonna have some uh, regionals information for you guys in the next episode. So 
Thanks again for watching and this Caldeo EX will retreat and actually I don't know which, which Pokemon he's gonna knock me out but it's gonna be me it's gonna be the Mew. The Mew will knock me out. So that'll be it for this video. Let's see what it does. And yes, you're using the X ball for my Mewtwo, he's using that against me, so I'm knocked out. So as I said, thanks so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys next time.